Well, today marks one year since Marlin star pitcher Jose Fernandez lost his life. The 24-year-old and two friends were killed when his boat plowed into a jetty. CBS 4's Bianca Peters is live at Marlins Park with how his family remembered Jose today. Bianca? Yeah, you know, we were here at Marlins Park, like you said, standing in front of that wall that commemorates Jose Fernandez at number 16, so proudly displayed here. Hundreds and hundreds of messages cover this wall, that his number and his name. A lot of those messages saying they miss him, that he'll always be remembered. Some even saying that they wish they could have seen him pitch one more time. All of them in agreement that Jose Fernandez was taken from this world too soon, exactly one year ago today. Missing him every single day. Just absolutely missing him. The only ray of light that we have is his little daughter, Penelope. Walking along the jagged dark rocks, Jose Fernandez's mother and close family friends kneeling to permanently etch Fernandez's name into the place where he took his last breath. To commemorate his, his life on the day of uh, one year after his passing. I'm at a loss of words, actually, because it's very touching. Fernandez crashed his speeding boat into government cut, killing himself and two others on this day last year. A state investigation concluded Fernandez was under the influence of alcohol and cocaine at the time. However, today on social media, it was about reflecting on the impact he made on his teammates and his family. And of course, the Marlins tweeting out this photo of him, smiling the way he did so often, playing the game he loved. We love you and we won't forget you ever. And Penelope loves you, mom loves you, grandma loves you. Well, you know, the Fernandezes set up the JDF 16 Foundation uh, after his passing. And this past year, on Jose Fernandez's birthday, this past July, that's when they gave their first donation. And that was to the Kiwanis Club of Little Havana for baseball equipment for local kids. Reporting at Marlins Park, Bianca Peters, CBS 4 News.